rather than copy and pasting it. So go to Window, Symbols, and then on the top right, you'll see click on New Symbol, and then we'll call that Bamboo or Leaves. And that'll be a graphic. Hit OK. Now I'm going to resize it a little bit. So we have this really, really helpful tool on the left. It's called um, Symbol Spray Tool, Shift S. And basically that lets us spray, um, let's us spray the symbols, which are our leaves all over the bamboo. Now from there we can have a lot of options. There's shifter, so if we want to shift some, like if there's some that's falling off of our tree, we can put those back using that shifter tool. Um, you can also do the scruncher, bring them more closer together. Um, you can also size if you want some big, some small. You can do that right there. You can do the spinner and like that changes some of the direction. So if you want to mix them up a little bit so they look more natural, that'd be nice. Uh, there's a stainer tool that basically lets you uh, change the colors a little bit. Make it more, so I can choose a different color and just do a stainer tool and notice that it's a different shade now. Okay, so I can even have some light ones. Okay. Maybe those got too much sun. And then I'm going to choose the symbol screener tool. And basically that changes like the transparency of them. You can also change the intensity of it. So if you want it less intense. So you can either make ma more bamboo or you can take your symbol tool and do the shifter and you can like move these guys over. But make sure that your bamboo is selected. And see I can shift them over. Something like that. Okay. Okay. So now our panda won't get too hungry. So I'm going to group all that bamboo together. And you can resize it to the way you want it to be. I'm going to stick that right by him. Now, last thing what we're going to do is with the rule of thirds, okay, um, remember a good photograph will have th three elements. One is the foreground, one is the background, and one's the midground or the focal point. So um, in another lesson, we're going to do the background. So today what we're going to do is the background. In another lesson, we'll do the foreground and the middle. So in the background, I'm going to make some mountains. So or you can choose a sun, like maybe I'll make it the sun setting right here, make that yellow. And I'll make a square around the top half. Because I'm going to make a gradient because I'm going to make this more uh, sunrise or sunset, if you prefer that. But make a gradient for the uh, background. And we're going to choose a use a three color gradient background. So remember, go to Window Gradient to get your gradients up. 
and then type would be linear and it would be like from bottom to top not left to right now when you go bottom to top you're gonna uh, click hold on the shift key to have a straight line and then draw your arrow up and that will make a linear uh, color so maybe I'll start with white then maybe I'll go with a orange So you can just drop that right in there. And then maybe my other color is like a purple. Maybe a green. So maybe something like that. Okay, so that's my background of the sky. I'm gonna hit Command Shift left bracket to send that to the back. And then my sun is going to be here. Coming off the page. And Now you can create some mountains. Uh, for the mountains, you could uh, use your pen tool. And draw some mountains. Usually mountains are like grayed out because of the sun. And I'm gonna put another mountain right here. And that's going to go behind the bamboo. Um, you see your layers palette? It would probably be a good idea to stick your background layers in a new layer in the back. So what you can do is, see I have layer one. I can call this like middle. That will be my middle ground. And then my layer two I can call background. So that way I don't get things mixed up. And so now I can go back and basically click and drag those layers into my background and they automatically go. Okay. So that's helpful because I can choose to like hide my background and then it goes away. And I gotta get my gradient to <coughs> stick that in there. <coughs> so in, in your layers, you can rearrange your layers. So notice my background, I need to move that layer down, which is uh, the sunset. So I'm gonna move that down. And there we go. And I'm done with my guides for now, so I'll just leave that like that. So your background, make sure your background is not on the top layer. So we can take the background and put that on the front so our bamboo shows up. So in the next tutorial, we'll be doing the foreground and other stuff for our panda bear. And so you can make a mountain, like mine are hills, but you can make a mountain. Make sure you have three colors. You can do a sun.